Welcome viewers to the first of our Kickstarter launch demonstrations. Today I'm going to be showing you how the gentle roller can cope with an irregular shape. Um, I've got um, what I call a collar scarf. The original pattern comes from a Joe Johnson scarf and you can find that in the book Fabulous Felted Scarves. I've done it quite differently to, to Jory. I've used it in this double-sided sari silk scarf. I'm just going to put it out of the way onto Gemma. As you can see, you can wear it a couple of ways. You can wear it with the lapels down, or you can kind of wear it like this. I find that quite handy because I'm not able to actually wrap a scarf around my neck. You can also wear it with the fat end, um, like a, a Peter Pan collar. Okay, I'll also be using the 1400 roller. Now, um, I'll be taking it up on the roller from this end as well as this end. Um, just to show you what you can do or ha how the, gen the gentle roller can cope with um, a lopsided bundle because as you can s probably see you're going to end up with um, a bundle that's a little bit lopsided on the roller. Now I've already got my um, underneath my template I've already got my saw carrier cut out. I'm going to be um, doing this collar scarf in what I call my impression style. Um, I'll be laying a sliver of superfine merino with mulberry silk on top of the silk shortette. Um, it's a 50-50 blend. Um, it, it, will, it will give us a very fine scarf. Um, I haven't actually done this shape in the impression style so who knows with what we're going to end up with but we're going to go ahead and do it anyway so as you can see I've finished the laying up um, but I am I think it's going to be a little bit too thin for our uh, objectives today but uh, in any case I'm going to push on with it I'm going to wet it down um, put it on the roller um, and then I'll come back with some commentary when it's on the roller It's very wide, isn't it? Okay, I'm going to match the hex ends. I'm going to lock it in place. Put the drive roller, I'm um, sorry, the idle rollers in place. Now this um, motor housing is the original prototype motor housing. It's it's um, been vigorously tested. It's done the equivalent of um, 1,200 garments so far. So that's why it looks a little bit different to the one uh, in the production version. Okay, I'm going to program it and get it running. Ok, 
Okay, I've just stopped rolling uh, for a few seconds to explain something to you. In doing an irregular shape, I thought that I would uh, be getting a lopsided bundle, that it would be um, thick at one end um, and not at the, at the other. But as you can see, um, it's evened out. I've, I've got a pretty even bundle as, as, as it turns out because my, my felt is so fine. So um, I'm going to have to try again at getting a lopsided bundle for you to show you what um, the dental roller can do. I've um, taken the piece up on the roller this way, this way. I've also done some rolling on the diagonal with bends. Uh, I'm going to show you the quality of the pre-felt. As you can see, it's quite stretchy. It's all together and, and you know this is very fine and it's 50% mulberry silk so it's come together quite well. It's very good. I always um, test the stretchiness of it. I, I pull and tug it and that's quite good. So, so now I can uh, finish it off. I can pull it. I'm just using my fingers to tidy up the edges. Here's the finished item. On the original template as you can see I've probably been a bit overzealous in filling. It's actually um, held its, its shape quite well. Um, I was a little bit concerned laying it out that being so light that um, it, it might just get a little bit distorted in the rolling but it's come up pretty well. I'm just going to put it on Gemma just to give you an idea how it looks. So you can wear it like that or you can just Toss it up your shoulder. I'm going to be doing a, a couple of close-ups just to point out some of the areas um, in the felting. I'd just like to draw your attention to this little detail here um, to illustrate a, a point. When you're felting with um, a merino blend, and this, this is a blend with mulberry silk, the silk is actually very, very fine and it doesn't have any barbs to, to actually grab onto your carrier fabric. So it's, it's very hard to felt with. And as you can see, I've got, I've managed using the gentle roller to adhere the mulberry silk merino blend quite well to the carrier fabric. I like to refer to my fabrics as wetted, wetted silk fabrics because um, we have the merino silk blend fibre wetted to the carrier very well. Now, comparing something that I've done by hand, you can see that this, this fabric really could have done with a lot more rolling. And, you know, when, when you're rolling by hand, you tie, you, you get bored, you just can't go the extra mile to put in the extra rolls that you need to get a really good wetted fabric. So it's it's wetted to the carrier fabric, but it could have been done a lot better, I think, had I put in the extra rolls. There you go, that's what I wanted to point out to you. There it is, folks, how you can replace your hand rolling with the use of the gentle roller. I'll catch you on the next video.